It's safe to say that the Eagles season has been a bitter disappointment so far, but there's an old adage that goes flying around at times like these, and it is that every cloud has a silver lining. And for the Philadelphia Eagles, that silver lining comes in the way of wide receiver Travis Fulgham, who has been turning heads at every corner since debuting on the team. After catching a 42-yard bomb against the Niners last week, he had the game of his life on Sunday against the Steelers with 10 catches for 152 yards. But exactly what makes Travis Fulgham so valuable to this offense? Is this production just a fluke or can we expect more of the same? Have the Eagles found a diamond in the rough? My name is Liam Jenkins and this is another episode of Eagles Film Room. Before we get started though guys, a special announcement, we're giving away a Travis Fulgham jersey and a couple of runner-up prizes as well because we love you and we want you all to win. There are one of three ways you can enter. The first one is to leave a like on this video, be subscribed to the channel and drop your comment down below with your best nickname for Travis Fulgham. The comment with the most wins by the next Eagles film room will win the jersey. If you don't fancy that though, the second way you can enter is to join our Eagles group group chat. We've got over 200 members right now. Your odds are looking pretty good. It's 1 in 200, right? PSN Eagles Nation on the Flick Sports app. It is a group chat for nothing but Eagles fans. We've got competitions, giveaways like this, and so much more every single week. There's a link in the description. It takes five seconds to enter, and you're in a group chat with all the boys. And the third is to go to our Twitter page at Philadelphia SN, where there is a tweet which gives you instructions on how to enter there. It's just include retweeting it and tagging a friend who you think would like to win as well down in the bottom. It's as simple as that, guys. I love you lot. Even the ones that are mean to me about my voice will tell me to stick to soccer and I want to give something back. We gave away a Lane Johnson jersey last week. That's now safely with its winner. Good luck, guys. Let's get on with the film room. The first player I want to show you guys isn't actually one that showcases anything to do with Fulgham's receiving ability, but more so the impact he can have on this offense and more specifically Zach Ertz if things continue to go in this direction. So what we're going to see here after a little bit of motion is that the Steelers are working in a cover three buzz. You've got a single safety over the top and the second the play unfolds, that safety who happens to be cornerback Mike Hilton here is going to make a decision. Does he come down and cover the underneath route or does he help his corners who are obviously taking the outside deep responsibilities? He buzzes down and takes away Zach Ertz. Now you want to look straight here as to why Zach Ertz isn't being targeted. It's very hard to be targeted as a tight end if you've got this kind of attention. There's no way that Carson Wentz can get the ball in there. But luckily here, you can see Wentz comes off that read quickly, starts looking to the outside. Now here he's got Greg Ward in the flat or Travis Fulgham who's going to be running a corner route. Now because this is zone, what we're going to see is that curl flat defender come down for Ward, meaning that Fulgham now has inside leverage against that corner. And he's going to run a very smooth route here all the way down the field. That that would have been a touchdown if Wentz had time to throw it. The problem is there was pressure. Wentz has to tuck the ball, run for a short gain, and just keep the ball safe. But this is a really nice sign of things to come because eventually, if Travis Fulgham keeps going off for nearly 200 yards, you're going to have to start respecting him. You're going to need that safety help. There is no way you can bring that safety down on Ertz and assume that there will be no receiving throw over the top. John Hightower is getting separation. Travis Fulgham is getting separation. This could have been dangerous for the Steelers, and I don't think teams are going to be this lenient against Fulgham in future, which hopefully should open things up for Zach Ertz a little bit more than the six yard and the nine yard games we're seeing right now. Let's get on to the good stuff and that is what Fulgham does as a wide receiver. He's not the fastest route runner in the world, but what he is is smooth and intelligent and that is exactly what the team needed. This play here was third and 12. The team clearly needing a first down and someone to come up big and deliver that reception. So what we see from Fulgham here is that he's angling his body to the outside. He knows he's got a zone linebacker. He's got a corner that again is trying to shade him inside. So Fulgham has got a signal that he's running towards the hash marks here. Then turns up field to sell the vertical. That's going to force the corner to open his hips. And the second he gets past that first linebacker, he's just going to flip his hips. And in one fluid motion, his head, the foot's in the ground, his hips turn. And by that point, look at the bend 
on that inside leg there. That's what I'm talking about. One fluid motion, bang. He's around. The corner has got to flip his entire body. The separation between the two. He is in the perfect hole of that defense. Pass the marker. Adjust really well to the ball. Sustains a hit. Like, he takes on a bit of a hit here. It's a first down. Easy stuff there for Travis Fulgham. And while, again, he may not be the fastest receiver in the world, he is certainly among the more physical. And what I love about that is that during a route, he uses that physicality to separate during the stem or create enough of a window for his quarterback. He's six foot two, 215 pounds. And when he breaks during his routes, what he's able to do is close his body over the top of the corner to stop them undercutting and picking off a pass. It's sneaky, but it worked. And we saw it on that in route. We're going to see it once again here. Fulgham is going to break to the outside and look at his body position in here. He doesn't allow the cornerback leverage to reach back over the top or sneak back underneath. He's able to box him out, jump up, make a catch. He's got great catch radius. We're going to touch on that later. But it's just that awareness part of using his body much in the fashion that the Eagles really wanted to see from JJ Ortega Whiteside and haven't been able to just yet. For all the criticism that Doug Peterson has come under this year, I think the one thing we have to give him credit for is scheming his team well against Pittsburgh. The Steelers run a lot of bail technique, they play their corners off the ball, and much in the way that Jim Schwartz does. And the Eagles really took advantage of that by running a lot of curls, a lot of passes underneath. The good news is that Travis Fulgham was able to really reap the rewards of that and get on the same page as his quarterback in terms of timing, which is also something we haven't really seen this season. But we season. see it on this curl route here. It's a perfect timing route. Fulgham adjusts to the ball well, just a little bit short of the sticks there, but pulls himself upfield. And when you can complete those passes, you begin to get that confidence, and that's when we see Carson Wentz really come into his own. Now, this play was a miss. Carson Wentz couldn't find Travis Fulgham but I want to pay attention to the route here. There's one thing that Travis Fulgham does in this route that really stands out to me, and you don't see it as glaringly obvious as this very often, but Fulgham makes a great adjustment here to keep the cornerback behind him, and although the pass is incomplete, I love this, and you don't see it at first glance. Fulgham gets hot on the heels of the corner here, makes his break, this is fine, and at this point, the route's done, okay? It's a nice little curl inside. He's got the comeback. He's ready to angle himself for the ball. This is about as perfect as you could get. What he doesn't have to do after the ball is thrown, watch that outside leg, is he takes a step back the other way. And that forces an already off-balance corner to have to retrace his steps and then come outside. And by the time the ball arrives, although it's off target, the corner's outside the receiver who could catch the ball, turn up field and go. Fulgham's awareness here to know that at this point the corner's closing over the top could come down and snatch that ball, could come down, make a play on it and take it back, whatever it may be. Fulgham goes, nah, I'm going to pull myself outside and you're not getting near that football. I'm going to use my frame to shield it. I love that. And staying on the awareness angle, like, look at how well he manipulates the cornerback here on a stop and go right. He wasn't actually targeted here again, but it's the route that really stands out. Because Fulgham comes to a complete halt. Like, he totally stops stops dead and that of course is going to force the corner to bite who's trying to shade inside anyway rotates his hips and the second those directions then cross paths Fulgham explodes out of that stance gets downfield and puts himself in a position to make a big play again unfortunately he wasn't targeted but it's knowing that ceiling is there all right we're going to blend that awareness with his catch radius which is where he's really making his pay dirt as a member of the Philadelphia Eagles. This is on third down, a down where it was money for the team on Sunday. He's got to start off looking like he's about to run a corner, but he's got to get the defensive back on his heels. They're running cover three. We've seen this look before. They're taking away a third of the field each. So the corner naturally comes over the top of Fulgham. That's his job. What Travis does really well is look at this lunge. That lunge step there to get in line with the cornerback and then break underneath. He wants that undercut. Why is that so important? Well, now you've got a six foot two, 215 pound receiver who can do this who can high point a ball in the air. The corner's going to get nowhere near that, no matter who you are. You are not getting up and over someone of that size with that frame who plays football this physically. So just with that awareness to go, do you know what? If I get alongside you and cut underneath, you're not going to get around me. You're not getting back to that ball. And then he's got the catch radius to back that up. Not only is he aware, not only has he got the size, but he has got the jumps. He's got the hops to get up, snag that ball out of the air and bomb 
knocks the corner out. You're going to see more of that here. Another high pointed ball on an RPO. But what stands out is that he's lining up in the slot. I really love the versatility that Fulgham brings to the table. Like every clip he's lining up somewhere else. He can play outside. He can play inside. Which begs the question. What the hell happened to J-Draw with the cross training last year? But this is the catch we all want to see. The monstrous over the shoulder reception. And I don't even have words for it. It is just simply a work of art. The physicality through the stem to not get knocked off. The catch radius. The vision for the over the shoulder catch. The adjustment to the football. The ability to hold on to it. Like this is just art form at its finest. And he's got a lot of yards after the catch potential as well. I love this look by the Eagles. They've got Zach Ertz and Miles Sanders in the backfield. Both Steelers linebackers are going to be responsible for a gap, which means that the Eagles should know this is going to be zone coverage. They release Travis Fulgham here out of that bunch, who just gets wide open, is going to take a hit and stay up. Again, that physicality coming through. And that word keeps coming up, and for good reason, because Travis Fulgham is just nasty. Like, when he's blocking, he will finish every play to the whistle and drive corners to the back of the end zone. I love the little chip at the end of that play and even on Miles Sanders touchdown run we see something very similar. The Eagles really like blocking capabilities in their wide receivers because it does open up things downfield for the run game and it means you can run more screens because you're going to have someone who can actually drive open a lane for a wide receiver to run through and when you've got someone like Fulgham who can just get into the face of a corner and drill them without second thoughts or without having that elusiveness where they're going to get washed out of a play. It's really helpful. Like on this play, he's lining up against press, which we haven't seen very much. Takes a monumental punch to the chest and still finds a way to get a step on his corner. It's brilliant. A press would be the only area I'm a little bit concerned about with Fulgham because we haven't seen him operate from there just yet. Most of his work has been done against bail and off technique where we're not really seeing him matched up against someone. Maybe he's equally physical at the line of scrimmage, but when in open space and able to manipulate cornerbacks positioning the guy's lethal and I think that's the thing is that he's smart and that he plays hard they're the two biggest takeaways I can pull forget the athleticism forget the frame forget the catch radius that leaps off the screen this is someone that is just playing his ass off right now has only been with the team since late August has somehow picked up all of the playbook is lining up all over the field so he can wash away that JJ Ortega white side theory this is a receiver that could well be a hidden gem or a diamond in the rough no matter how you look at it Travis Fulgham has all the makings of what J. Jaw should have been and it's no coincidence that if you go on mock draftable and you search Travis Fulgham a website which tracks all of the NFL combine results and looks at the athletic profile of players his biggest comparison is Althega Whiteside this is what Arthega Whiteside should have been. And the Eagles have seen a sixth round pick cut by the Lions. Leapt on it like a salmon to bring him in and try and mould that player. And it's working wonders. And I really, really hope they continue to ride the hot hand through the season when Olshon, D-Jax and Rager come back. I hope he is still a focal part of this offence. Because with production like this, with comfort and confidence like this from a quarterback, he absolutely needs to be. Now, hopefully this film room has given you a little bit more insight into his game and what makes him so special and why he's able to put up such staggering numbers. If it has, make sure you leave a like, drop me a comment down below. From myself, Liam Jenkins, I'll see you soon.